this is an exercise in patience. Very close! Well, that's an absolutely stunning strike. I cannot believe it took that on, Martin. It stunned me and it certainly stunned the keeper. Well, they'll be showing that over and over again. Well, we didn't see that coming, nor did the goalkeeper. Well, you cannot give that player that much room, that distance out. From the moment he hit it, you can see he knew it was going in. These two countries have a bit of a history of rivalry, don't they? They do, going back many, many years. And uh, you normally get a couple of feisty clashes out on this pitch today. But what we have got as well, we have to emphasise, is some marvellous talent. The main game today, Germany against France. Well, this is a match-up between two international teams today. The disadvantage, Alan, is that they don't play together very often. The positive, of course, is they are the country's very best players. They are indeed, and we have got some quality players to enjoy out there today, but uh, as you say, not all of them have played together too often, so there might be a slight lack of understanding at times. Today's Germany team is this. Manuel Neuer starts in goal. Jerome Boateng starts with Mats Hummels in central defence. Tony Kroos starts with Sami Khedira in the middle. We'll see how the striking option works with just one up front. I always remember being here for the 2006 World Cup final and the incident, of course, with Zinedine Zidane sent off playing for France and Italy ending up with a trophy. Yes, uh, I don't think many inside the stadium actually saw the incident, but the fourth official did and he famously or infamously had a part to play in Zidane sending off. A lot of interest in how France would line up today. Here it is. Hugo Lloris starts in goal. Rafael Varane starts with Samuel Umtiti as the centre-backs. Olivier Giroud is the main striker. Rub each other up the wrong way, Alan, I think. Yeah, sometimes you get a little bit of aggro, but uh, two teams know each other well, Martin, and normally we do get fireworks. But mainly, you look at the talent out there, and uh, so much to be excited about. It's a mouth-watering prospect, it really is. Main game today, Germany against France. Tony Kroos. Tony Kroos! Well, nowhere near. Uh, he was a long way out. Yeah, I think that's a waste to try his luck from there. And the shot had plenty of conviction, but it had too much height. Well, a bit ambitious there, to say the least. And his teammates giving him some stick for trying to shoot from that distance. any problems and certainly not the goalkeeper Tedira Julian Draxler Werner looking for an opening with some good control builder and he's presented the ball to the opposition getting the ball back and thinking attack straight away now here comes Blaise Matuidi on the run. Griezmann. These two have got a great understanding with their passing. Well, the goalkeeper will hope that it stays like that throughout the game. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. 
Griezmann slipping it through. Mbappe. Mbappe! Good stop by the goalkeeper. It's one back. Giroud. Still got a bit to do, but this is promising. Can put them in front here. That's a decent try, just past the frame of the goal. Julian Draxler Tony Kroos Marco Reus Werner He's true They're very quick in these breakaways But the uh, danger was Werner They've broken through here on the first goal Might that just be the vital strike to be there to score it and he ran in and got his reward just couldn't miss now it was a poacher's effort the final finish wasn't difficult but to get there it took a little bit of instinct but the defender was absolutely on top of his game. Werner. Now the Thomas Smith cracks up. But what a tackle to break up the play. Pogba. Olivier Giroud. Mbappe, chance for the cross. All about picking the right pass now as he cuts it back. As for France, it's a corner now for them. And an opportunity possibly for an equalising goal. And in it goes. Royce, Werner, Sammy Kadira, Royce. Here's a chance to attack. It's a good place to win the ball here. And Tweedy, Griezmann. Good vision from Antoine Griezmann. Giroud, a low ball into the box. Keeper's ball, no question about that. It's a weak cross, really. They've got the ball back by that interception. Griezmann. Hector. Played down the wing, keeping the wide attack going. Werner. Looking for Royce. Cleared away, well away from goal. Held off the defender with some good touches here. And the referee looks to his assistant, who's got the flag up, it's offside. Giving it straight to the opposition. Tony Cross! It's not really going to get the better of him from that range, especially when he can see it all the way. And Tweedy. Crosses aimed at Griezmann. The defender did well to get to it, but it hasn't really finished the job. Marco Royce. Julian Draxler. 
probing away, trying to find room for a shot, maybe. He's cleaned up here, hasn't he, with that clearance. It's a very good interception. it goes along the ground and it's there and that levels the match well i wonder whether the goalkeeper will blame himself for this but it looked a good finish even though he did get a touch yeah he's getting a few stares off his defenders they thought he should have done better So, away we go at one all. Well, there we are. The half-time whistle goes in this international friendly fixture. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well. He's certainly been an influence on this first half. Well, what a moment it was. Really late on to grab that equaliser, and I just think it shifts the momentum in his team's favour. If anything, the half-time whistle came too soon. They wouldn't have wanted it. And we've got another 45 minutes to go. And uh, set your watches, off we go. Togba. Bit of space for him. Now out on the wing. Cross driven in low. And that ball belongs to the goalkeeper. Griezmann to put them in front. He really gave it the laces there, didn't he, Alan? Yeah, he did connect with it beautifully. Not a bad effort at all. Joshua Kimmich. Thomas Müller. It's Kimmich. It's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. And Tweedy must take the lead here. That's great work by the goalkeeper. Sana. Lovely pass played by Gundogan. It's a goal! Oh, it's an offside decision. Well, the players can't believe it, and neither can the crowd, but it's the right decision. Spotted that well, and intercepted. Müller, it's Kimmich, Müller, Kedira, it's Ilkay Gundogan, now with Kedira, Tony Kroos, and that's dealt with the problem, and that will be a throw. Thomas Müller. Tony Kroos. Kedira. Müller. Sammy Kedira. This is an exercise in patience. Tony Kroos! Well, that's an absolutely stunning strike. I cannot believe it took that on, Martin. It stunned me and it certainly stunned the keeper. Well, they'll be showing that over and over again. Well, we didn't see that coming, nor did the goalkeeper. Well, you cannot give that player that much room, that distance out. From the moment he hit it, you can see he knew it was going in. France are behind. 
Pogba. Conte. Rafael Varane. That'll be a throw for France. Mbappe. Well, here comes the support. Tony Kroos. Kroos. Substitute coming up for the away team. Good to act. Tony Kroos. Sane. Bereska. Kedira. Good to act. Poor attempt at a pass, really. 20 minutes of the 90 still to play. Well, this attack got a bit of menace to it. Opportunity to cross here. Oh, that's good defending. He's got his shot off now. He's made the save. Good to add. Sane. Perezka. Leroy Sane. Now with Thomas Muller. That's a good block. He thought he might have connected a bit better than that. It's a simple save in the end from the long shot. Out into the wide areas now. Conte. Neatly intercepted. Came in with the challenge. Maybe a bit of a sighter, but it was a strong effort. I have seen him score from those kind of distances. France are going to make a change now. Fantastic game, this, and it's going to go right down to the wire. Fekir. Now they're looking to get forward from this position. It's 82 minutes played now. Thomas Muller. Probing the pass. Played in the clear. Can he do it? Well, they know their positions here, they know their jobs defending this corner. Corner from Tony Cross. This might be dangerous from the corner. <laughs> Swung in by Cross. Let's go. Oh, the bar's still shaking. Good clearance. the goalkeeper in the eye it must be well what a chance for the equalizer yeah he just appeared to snatch at that a little bit Hummels Sane we're hearing there will be three added minutes here. Kroos lost the ball. It's a good-looking attack, this one. And here's the shot. Well, they've got the corner. Possibilities here for this equalising goal. Corner played into the middle. Still a chance in there off the goalkeeper. Good defensive play, no cross. Well, it's full time. It's been an international friendly fixture for you. And 
and a good competitive run with just the one goal margin for victory. Yeah, I think it was always going to be a tight one. There's not much to uh, separate the two, and, and that's how it panned out. Well, the last verdict, maybe, from you on Tony Kroos, Alan. He was always the man to watch for the opposition, but they couldn't keep tabs on him at the vital moment there when he grabbed that goal.